Welcome back, brothers and sisters. I am Braden. This is Langley Outdoors Academy, and thank you for stopping by. All right, guys, what we're going to talk about tonight is something that's really, really important to understand about the gun control push. This is not about making the most sense and the most impact. This is about control. We all know that, and I'm preaching to the choir to a lot of you. However, what I'm going to show you tonight is something that a leader in the Democratic Party in New Jersey said as he was leading office, as he refused to put forward bills for votes, that, as he said, wouldn't do anything. This is really important because as you zoom out and you look at every single bit of gun control that's been pushed in the past two years, there's an interesting pattern that comes out that lines up with exactly what he said. That's what we're going to talk about tonight. Everything's going to be linked in the description box below. I cannot wait to hear what you guys think. I'm going to do a quick read from our sponsor who made this video possible, and then we're going to hit it. Now, the USCCA is something bigger than the right to bear arms. It's a resource to help you be ready for the before, during, and after a self-defense incident. If you're not one of the 500,000 plus responsibly armed Americans who are proud USCCA members, then now is the time to explore USCCA membership. Click the link in the description below now to learn about life-saving education and industry-leading training. And thank you so much to USCCA for making these videos possible this week. But now, guys, check this out. New Jersey, because this is coming in light of what the governor there, Governor Murphy, wants more and more gun control. New Jersey is number eight in the entire country. They laud themselves as the best gun control, the leaders of gun control and gun safety in the nation. That's what they say. And yet they need more. That's a whole different conversation, which is kind of obvious on its face. But anyway, this is from every town for gun safety. New Jersey has some of the strongest gun laws in the country, from comprehensive background checks to disarming domestic abusers to a strong extreme risk law. New Jersey laws are a model for other states, and yet they need more because it's just not working. Very interesting, but let's continue because this is the article we're going to hit on, and I'm going to get to the point here. Murphy renews push for even tougher New Jersey gun laws after proposals stalled. It's outrageous. Now, if you guys have been with us since January, you'll remember that they were trying to rush through the ultimate gun control, the stuff they're doing again, back in January before they lost all their seats. Okay? New Jersey had a big red wave for New Jersey, and it lost them a lot of seats, so it made gun control for them a little more difficult. Well, that entire thing failed, and this is why it failed. Check it out. This is really important, and then we get to the quote which spurs this whole conversation. But critics have said the bills won't actually curb violent crime because they lar largely target law-abiding gun owners and don't stem illegal guns flowing in from other states. Then State Senate President Stephen Sweeney, Democrat Gloucester, cited both those reasons when he declined to post the measures for a vote just before leaving office in January, having lost re-election in a stunning upset. You guys, I'm sure, heard about that. It was out of nowhere, but this is what he said. Quote, I'm tired of passing bills that are feel-good, that do not do anything about the crime on the streets, Sweeney said at the time. Now, this is on his way out, so he has no reason to sugarcoat it and be political. He was telling the truth. Now, zoom out a little bit further. What have the gun controllers put forward over the past two years? You've got AR bans. Well, most of the violent crime is done with handguns. Yeah, but, we, but AR bans, weapons of war. Doesn't make sense. New Jersey, safe storage laws, or not New Jersey, uh, New Mexico, safe storage laws that were not able to be enforced had really bad teeth and they both failed muster in the legislature. Wouldn't have done anything, but at least it was a feel-good law. AR ban, feel-good law. Let's go up to Washington State. AR mag ban. No more new mag bans are sold in this state because they are the cause of all the crime. You can keep the ones you have, by the way. And if you get more and replace the other ones, well, then you can do that too, but you can't buy any more. Doesn't make sense. It's a feel-good, do-nothing law. And then we go right up the chain all the way to Biden, puts out a ghost gun legislation rule, actually not a legislation, ghost gun rule, that will have no impact on crime whatsoever because ghost guns have never been part of the problem. The entire thing is about feel-good. Look what I did. Look what we did. We're first in the nation. We're first in the country. We're the first. We are actually being big, bold actions on gun control. Guns, common sense, gun control. It doesn't make sense. All the while, H.R. 8 and H.R. 1446 can't even get a vote in the Senate brought up by the Democratic majority leader because even Democratic senators aren't going to vote for this. If you zoom out on all of this, none of it is based in statistical, pragmatic approaches to solving any problems. It's all about a feel-good law. And that's what I want to bring to you because this is a perfect, I don't even know the best word, a perfect example of what's happening across the board. Wherever gun control is allowed to flourish, like California, for example, New York, this is the outcome. I feel so good. We're doing something. Nothing's changing. But we did something. 
which is why I came up with the phrase, it's better to do something than nothing, even though something's going to do nothing, but at least we did something. And that's what I have for you. Hopefully that made sense. Let me know if I landed the plane on that one, and I will see you guys tomorrow morning on the bullet points. I'm Braden. See you later.